Okay. Uh, we currently have 51 inmates. Uh, we have no one boarded out for the first time, and I can't tell you how long. Wonderful. Um, and hopefully we'll stay that way. Um, nothing really major to put, report on this end other than staffing issues. Uh, we just recently lost uh, four individuals. Three went to other positions, and one's going to college. Uh, our full-time staff is down by four, and we're missing uh, quite a few part-timers. Um, so we're in the process of trying to get some information out there to see if we can get some applications in. They're not even coming in very much. Uh, so we're, we're kind of in trouble on that end. Um, and then I just did approve your two POs yesterday for the advertising campaign to get some more help. And I'd yeah. like to urge all the members of the press, please emphasize that we need employees in the prison. Um, we're taking applications. We will be advertising. You know, we are advertising in several different papers and all. Um, but it's imperative that we get some people over there. We don't have even many part-timers in the pipeline. So, so yeah, both positions, both part-time and full-time. And Rick, is that uh, information on the website in the meantime for people? It will be. This is just something we came up okay. with yesterday afternoon. And they sent me POs to get ads in the papers, and I, I, got, I approved them for them. And uh, I said we would announce it today, and then we're going to move on from there. But yes, it will be on our website, absolutely. <clears throat> okay, Ken, anything else for us? Um, no, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we're staying status quo up here. Uh, our numbers are fairly decent. Um, we got uh, quite a few more than we had expected, but that's what we do for a living. So. Uh, I just want to emphasize again, Ken, how, how grateful we are of what type ship you're running up there because the prisons around us are having some issues. Bradford County has a, some issues. Um, I just want to say thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate it. We, do, we have great staff here, so we, we do well. I have, uh, have to take my hat off to them. And you're on. You're on. Another, thing we Thanks, have, another thing we have to discuss, um, we, had a, we haven't announced this yet, but we will be soon that we met with all the uh, department heads yesterday afternoon uh, via vote meeting, and actually I had no trouble at all on that. No. Everybody was on. But anyway, um, we are going to keep the courthouse, this is for the other meeting, uh, as it was by appointment only, and I'm wondering do we want to keep uh, the visitation not available for the correctional facility? Absolutely. What, what, is, your, what is your opinion, <laughs> my opinion, and our three of us will keep it as it is for now. Right. We're showing a spike. We've gotten about 10 or 12 in the last 14 days, new cases. It's rising. We'd like to keep it that way. What, what are your thoughts on that, Ken? Uh, we've, been, we've been kind of mirroring what DOC does throughout this entire thing, so I'm kind of going to follow their lead. When they feel they're clear, then I think we can feel we're clear. Okay, so we're just, we'll... Um, to their recommendation, too, I think. I, I, I think maybe we should vote on that and then right. just follow the county's uh, a lead on not doing any, any visit. Right. It's not changing anything from what it was. Go we'll hear a motion. I do. I make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So Aye. moved. <clears throat> so until further notice, there's still no visitation in the correctional facility.